What station is this? Hey, Ron, how are you? Hey, how you doing today, George? Very well. Happy to talk to you. You too. Chef George Duran joins us. He's been with us before. Uh, he's, uh, he's on the Food Network. He's on all the morning shows and everything. And he's, he's, uh, he's Jeff to the president. Uh, that's right. That's true, but, you know, I'm your personal chef, wants. right? I'm your personal chef, too. I come there and I do the dishes sometimes for you. Uh, that's true. <laughs> 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 I was just saying. Um, hey, good to be with you. Uh, we got another event coming up. That's a Super Bowl thing. And that's one of those uh, events where people eat. And anything goes, especially the stuff that you just love to eat. Uh, so uh, we need some tips, uh, Chef. Yeah, you know, the big thing right now is having a cheese board. When people arrive little by little, having a large, beautiful cheese board, it's not only easy to make, it's also very affordable. So I'm working with the folks at the Roth Specialty Cheeses. Their cheeses from Wisconsin. They come in flavors like a Nutty Grand Cru. They have creamy Havarti cheese flavors like jalapeno and horseradish. So all you got to do is take some of these Roth Specialty Cheeses and add some nuts, crackers, dried fruits, chicken wings, meatballs, whatever you want to that cheese board. And you know you're going to be getting quality cheeses when it's from Roth. Um, they, they, that quality is going to translate to good taste. And best of all, you can find them at any local grocery store. So cheese board is so important the moment people walk in that door. Absolutely. Uh, and it's important. Uh, you'll never go to the bathroom again, but it, it is important nonetheless. Well, uh, that's true. I mean, you, you got half time, so that's not a problem with uh, that. Okay. okay. All, right. <laughs> All right. So one of the uh, biggest challenges that I have usually with my Super Bowl parties is that mm -hmm. you want to make a dish that everybody can actually enjoy. And I'm talking yeah. about uh, meat lovers and vegetarians alike. So I actually make plant-based protein dishes like this. Uh, I make a meatball banh mi slider, um, and I even make these amazing meatball um, skewers. So I'm using pure farmlands, plant-based homestyle meatballs. This is a, a meatball that is so flavorful that even meat eaters and vegetarians are going to absolutely love. It is absolutely uh, delicious, but also they're gluten-free and dairy-free, made with complete soy protein, and their packages are sustainable. So you're helping the environment a little bit, uh, but best of all, you're getting best of both worlds, a, a kind of a, a meat lover's flavor with a vegetarian um, ingredient. Okay. What about uh, barbecue sauces? There's so many of them, and it seems to go on everything. The, the secret to choosing the right barbecue sauce, and let me tell you what the secret is. When you look at the ingredients, so there's so many out there. When you look at the ingredients of the sauce, always find the word molasses in there. And no, and no high fructose corn syrup, of course. If you have yes. molasses in there, you're set to go. That is probably a high-quality uh, barbecue sauce that you can kind of slather on everything you have. Now, uh, you're not just a chef. You love to watch TV, uh, and you're on TV, so that's good. Uh, but this is a TV holiday. Uh, how do we en enhance that experience? Absolutely. You know, it's really important that you have a quality television set, um, and that means uh, this year I'm working with LG. They have this new 55-inch LG B9 OLED 4K TV. When you say OLED, Man, it makes a world of a difference. Their OLED technology it delivers billions of rich colors, so you never miss a single detail. It'll feel like you're almost there on the sidelines. Plus, this LG B9, well, it can be controlled your, with your voice with the built-in Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. Now's the time, really, to upgrade, I would say. I mean, they're, they're on sale. It's the OLED TV by LG. Just go to any LG-authorized dealers. And I want to go back to that barbecue sauce because another thing sure. that I like is sweet foods in my uh, in my kind of a repertoire of foods for the Super Bowl. Um, but I also like to uh, avoid empty calories or junk food on game day. So that means eating whole foods like uh, uh, prunes, dates, and mangoes, and dried fruits as well. So I'm using sunsweet dates with low-fat cheese this year, or I wrap the sunsweet uh, uh, dates with bacon, and it's a really easy, sweet, and savory snack. You, you toss the uh, sunsweet amazing prunes and mangoes with nuts, and there's a trail mix as well. A great way to serve a, a snack that counts towards your uh, serving of fruit every day as well. Wow. You're even healthy on, on Super Bowl Day. That's amazing. Well, it doesn't, it, healthy doesn't mean that it doesn't have to be flavorful. These are still delicious mm -hmm. ways of getting your nutrition, but also serving delicious food. And by the way, going back now to technology, you know there's this new thing. It's called the Dish Outdoors Telgator Pro. It's a portable satellite antenna that delivers live TV and crystal clear HD. It's perfect for taking your Super Bowl parties on the road. It weighs just eight pounds. It's easy to transport and set up with no yeah. Wi-Fi required. That's the Dish Telgator Pro and Wall Receiver Bundle. Uh, you can yeah. get pay-as-you-go programming, uh, f s sports channels like Fox, ESPN, NFL, and more. And it's uh, you yeah. pay by the month, no long-term contracts either. Oh. 
I wonder if this year they're going to broadcast on you know the regular broadcast networks over the air uh, 4K. I don't know if they've done that before. That's a very good question. Um, I, I assume that they, they everything is starting to move towards 4K. Right now. Yeah. Right now, sure. Yeah, everything's starting to move towards 4K. Hey, in about 10 years, it's going to be 8K. Get ready. <laughs> hey, hey! In ten years, they're going to show up at your house. That's right. You're going to be able to literally walk into the stadium and just yeah. look around, eat a hot dog, and come back into your living room. That would be amazing. Oh God, I got to live uh, for ten more years. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but like about fifteen, twenty years ago, if you're that old, uh, they used to say that uh, you you would go to a theater or something, and there'd be a virtual reality uh, kind of what do they call that kind of thing where. There's nobody on the stage, but they project them. Uh, the hologram. The hologram. The hologram. Well, they're doing that with concerts now. Actually, they're getting they're, they're reviving yeah. all these old artists that are have passed away, and they're turning yeah. them. I think they're doing it with Whitney Houston. That's what I read. And they're they're really? reviving them and turning them into holograms. The Japanese are wow. doing them with their um, kind of um, uh, anime kind of stars who are huge that's concerts, freaky. and you go there and you watch them perform live. It's a little creepy, but I think that's because we're old. I think the new generation of people yeah. are yeah. going to accept that and. It's going to be the norm from now on hey a couple of blocks of cheese and a couple of drinks i'll believe anything yeah <laughs> that's true everything starts looking like a hologram after that that's right uh where do i get into oh, more, uh, there's there's tons more to talk about but we don't have time so uh where do i go for more ideas yeah all this information and recipes i spoke about check out dailylounge.com dailylounge.com hey uh, that's uh, chef Duran, my personal chef uh, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us again today thanks for having me on ron take care take care bye-bye